we got it the etiquette and grooming triangle. <coughs> so what is the first thing you notice about anybody within the first five seconds of meeting someone or seeing someone? What is it that you notice? Appearance. What specifically in appearance? Yes. yes. Alright. Face, facial features, gestures, posture, body language. That's what we're looking for. First five seconds, that's what you notice. Right? So all of this is physical. Which is why the first part in the social in the etiquette and grooming triangle gets covered as physical grooming. And why is the first impression so important? Basically, the first impression is the last impression. It basically forms the basis of the further impression. Does it always? It gives you an opportunity. It can. Do you get that chance always? No. No. You don't, right? Everybody so now, I mean, not, uh, agrees that yes, you do not get that chance always. Somebody makes their impression about you to up to 50% in the first 10 seconds of meeting you. And that 10 seconds could or could not have given you the chance to open your mouth and say I'm so and so. And that first 10 seconds stands a crucial moment in your life. Depending on whether you want to network with that person, you want to have dinner with that person, you want to be up and date with that person, or you want to get elected by the country. So those first 10 seconds make a lot of difference in how you project yourself. So why would you want to let go of that and leave it up to chance? Oh, child, I have got education behind me. <laughs> education is good. Your knowledge is good. It is excellent. But if you have that cutting edge over anybody else, why not have that on your side? So your dialogue becomes physical growth. We spoke about body language. We speak a lot more about that. What's the next thing that follows after that? How you exchange business cards, how you communicate with people, whether it's over the telephone, whether it's over the email. Social does not mean hanging out in a party. Social means being able to interact with someone, being able to communicate with someone. We are not hermits sitting on a mountain away from the world where life is real. We are here interacting with people on a daily basis and we cannot afford to let go of the skill, which is why it needs to be accomplished to its best. So social includes everything from how you conduct yourself even in silent panels, your handshakes, how you exchange your business cards, challenges when you are sending an email, what is how do you make your presence felt on an email, how do you make business sense on an email. Those things come under social grooming. Now, there is a third part of grooming, without which the first and the second are of no use. Can somebody tell me what those could be? What's personal? Even physical is personal, so social. What's personal? Any any other? Interpersonal. 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 Personality is spoken a lot through your physical and your social. Mental. Mental. Nice. Very nice. Of course. Yes. Okay. So I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example. Uh, after a business session, something like this, imagine you're already in the corporate world. I'm sure if you have a lot of you already experienced the corporate world already before coming to IMG. Before even coming here, so in that you're in a business session and post a session like this, you have a cocktail party. And there's, there's wine, there's food, good color people, networking happening, you meet people, you want to stay connected with them. And there's this really nice, suave gentleman. And he's got this, he's mastered physical grooming, he's mastered social grooming. And he's got some crowd standing around because he's cracking the best jokes in the party. He's the life of the party, practically. That's a party, and you know, there's wine and there's waiters. Accidentally, a waiter spills red wine on this gentleman's white shirt. Now, this gentleman could choose to respond in two ways. 
one would be it's okay for that is accident move on you know i'll just go so because i think he's very panicky about the whole situation and somebody passing the handkerchiefs the way they say sorry sab da ki ho gaya mere job nahi chale ja rahe you know he's in a half panic state there's a lot of commotion going on around that so he could choose to respond in two ways one he would say sab theek hai hota hai ladies and gentlemen please excuse me i should just go clean up carry on And when he goes back, he washes up. He still has a red shirt, a purple or a red patch on his shirt. And he walks back to the party, and he uses that to make a lively joke out. He chooses that as an opportunity. His second response could be he could completely flip out. His face color could change to three colors within 30 seconds. <laughs> It would be like seeing a bull raging in the entire arena. And everybody is standing there, staring at him, because there's nothing more entertaining than looking at a mature adult lose his cool. So that's why reality shows to do so well, right? So which one is better, and why? Makes no sense. Concrete. Give me a word. Give me words. Why is it a moment of reaction? Why is it a moment of reaction? Don't doubt me. You can do more. Happens. It's better to use every day to just make the best of it. Right? You're first to be the one, right? Never mind. You're first to be the highest answer here. It's alright. Okay. He's mature. The gentleman says he's mature. I completely agree with that. Why is he mature? Because he's got that. Okay, conduct. <laughs> we already spoke about that. That's not the only thing he's given. What is he in control of? Emotion. Thank you so much. That's the word I'm looking for. He is in control of his emotions. Whether he's angry or whether he's upset or whether he's uh, jealous or anything of the sort, he is in control of his emotions, and that is precisely what we call emotional grooming. 